Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the New York Giants and the New England Patriots. Kickoff now just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion. It's all handed over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it is our extreme privilege to be on hand for the Super Bowl. And I can't help but look down on this field, partner, and think about the history of this game and all the great players, all the great teams that have stood on the field for this moment so special. This game is so historic that while we call the Super Bowl now, that wasn't even the name of the first couple. If the AFL... NFL World Championship game before the Super Bowl really took hold and think about the Green Bay Packers winning the first two that got us kicked off and started towards where we are today and with the whole world watching at the end of this game at the end of tonight one of these two sides they get to etch their name in NFL immortality no doubt about it they hold up the ultimate symbol of victory in this league the Lombardi Trophy talk all the hype but the past is prologue as this Super Bowl is underway that's fielded in the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line so here come the Patriots now on offense bringing them out is of course one of the most iconic QBs in NFL history five-time Super Bowl champion Tom Brady they're led out by a man who started more Super Bowls than anyone in NFL history, the great Tom Brady. I can't help but admire the career Tom Brady has had. The numbers are off the charts. The Super Bowl championships and rings, we know that they are incredible. But how about the durability? Had one season that he missed, most of that season because of a knee injury. The rest of the time, he answers the bell and wills his team to victory. Work. And a giant rush gets home as down he goes. Olivier Vernon coming hard blitz he dumps him for a loss of eight okay partner a couple points of interest right here all right offensively we see that they came out there on the football but maybe more importantly the blitz that came defensively they got right after it. and you were telling me pre-game before we came on air you think this is something we could see a lot yeah there's no doubt about it because this is a unit that wants to play the game on their terms now meanwhile the throw by brady knocked away incomplete As the offensive starters pop up on your screen, Charles, let me ask you, Chris Hogan, what does he bring to this offense? A guy that you look at and really don't circle in your game plan. If there's other guys that you look at, then you realize this guy can do damage. Finds his way open on almost every snap. On third and long, it's Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. Trust me, Brandon, I'm not about to try and take your job. I can't do what you do. But that wasn't just three and out. That felt like three and backwards. Well, that's exactly what it was. Uh, you can have my job whenever <laughs> you want it. Uh, the drive that you're looking for, though, probably going forward, bad start to the ball game. Yeah, not the way to get things going. And we'll see what he can do on the return. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. 
So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback, a multiple-time Pro Bowler. It's, of course, Eli Manning. And he knows the stakes, doesn't he? He knows how huge this game is. But let's face it, he led his team through the gauntlet that is the NFC playoffs. So he's pretty confident about all of this. But the defense he's facing, they've had two weeks to prepare for him. But what did he tell us? Guess what? We've had two weeks as well on our side. And this will be a whole lot of fun. Hey, hey. A first carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But if the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. First trip to the red zone for the Giants. First and 10 right at the 20. On the run, it's Barkley. Sharp move, but can't find much space. Drop just inside the 20. A gain of three, second down. Clock rolling as the Giants will hurry to the line. Manning to throw on second down. Rolling to his left. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. And he'll try and run forward Barkley. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Now they'll throw it with Manning. And Ingram's got it. Touchdown, Giants. To open the scoring in Super Bowl 52. And the Giants are in for six. If you're looking for a candidate to make that leap in a second year, Brandon, I nominate Evan Ingram. Six touchdowns last year as a rookie. Yeah, and he's so smooth with his routes. And such a weapon, not just in the red zone, but anywhere on the field. I've had defensive coordinators tell me they treat him like a wide receiver when they try to defend. Rosas now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they worked their way back out onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. That ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. By 20, 20, by 20. Brady going to try and throw on third down. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. on to punt as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 15. A terrific return there. 27 yards all told.
Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. That'd be ideal. Now throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Manning again here on second and ten. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. It'll be a pickup of just two. And that's going to lead to a third down. Throwing now is Manning. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this is caught inside the five. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. As the first half is winding down, and the Giants add on to their lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches, and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? And you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? Just go long, <laughs> man. Yard. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Rosas now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. First carry now for Rex Burkhead. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. So it's halftime here on Sports Grandest Stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season from beginning to end. And now we'll play one half of football to decide who raises the Lombardi Trophy. And for the call, let's get it right back to Brandon and Charles. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now to throw is manning wide open receiver complete and down he goes but he takes it up to the 40 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling it's another first down It's Barkley. And here a juke. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And down to the 44, five yards that time. And quickly, they get to the line. On play action, it's Manning. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Back now here on EA Sports. 
It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. Now Stewart on first down. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Second down, here's Barkley, and he'll take this one down near the 15. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Throwing is Manning. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. Didn't have anything downfield, swung it out to the flat. He did the rest. Such a staple of so many offenses we see now. You know, in our discussions with offense coordinators, how many times do they tell us, hey, this offense is designed for either a touchdown or a check down. We saw the check down on that play, and boy, was it successful. We saw a touchdown, too. Rosas good with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. So that drive in total eight plays, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Rosas now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because... There are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now, and if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. A gain of six there on first. Now they got to get to the line quickly. A play fake for Burkhead. Now Brady. Now a desperation throw deep. This is intercepted. Picked by Darian Thompson. Shifty. Whoa. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. Rosas to add the extra point. PAT up and good by Rosas. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now as a quarterback... Are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because <laughs> after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. Uh, evidence to the contrary in that last possession, though. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 
That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. And did he just clock that? Looked like he tried to stop the clock, but the clock wasn't even moving. Brady to throw on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing his Brady on third down. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Brady to Gronkowski, cover athlete to cover athlete for a Patriot first down. And this is going to be incomplete. And this defense continues to give them fits. They just can't get really anything going on the ground, can they? I love the theme that you just brought up. This defense has been tough all game long against the run. We just saw another example of it there. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Fourth down on as the punt team sending this one away. They'll look to set up his blockers. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. And the New York football giants are the toast of the National Football League. They are the Super Bowl champs. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.